So it's now Thursday and I've got a few hours to fill in before I teach a um, class up at the old hall up there. So I've just come back here because I want to continue around where I found that 1907 Britannia coin up between that fence line over there and the dam. I'm going to go back there first. But it's an absolute beautiful day today. And what a better way to uh, fill in some time while I'm getting prepared to go to work to teach all the um, all the karate kids up at the old hall tonight. Okay, let's see what we can uncover. So I've just, just travelled up the, this side of the um, fence line at the old church block. And I've just stumbled upon a pretty strong signal here. So the discrimination signal's going up quite high. So that's numbers of a potential, like a rue penny or something like that, or maybe even a silver coin. If we're lucky, that's what it could be. So I'll just, we'll see if we can, that's just about there. So position camera there, and we'll see if we can uncover anything here. Wow, that's awesome, that's... That's a definite old coin there. That's great to be finding these coins on the other side of the fence line. This, obviously this fence wasn't here back in the early days from 19, I think this church block was from 1913 I believe right up to about 19 1960 or well, at least the um, late 1950s but this I believe is a another very old Commonwealth of Australia one penny I'm just gonna yeah looks like we're gonna be able to get the date off this too it's in, still got a fair bit of detail on so I'm just cleaning this up and to reveal exactly what it is okay so that's an awesome find this is a Commonwealth of Australia King George V one penny 1933 is the year of this particular one need to clean it up a bit more but that's that's a really nice old coin discovered on the 
on this new section that I'm exploring. This hasn't been slashed, but luckily some cows have been in here flattening, <laughs> flattening the grass down for me. So at least I can partly explore this area in through here. And the dam is situated up through there. So we've got, I'll take the best that I can, continue in strips up and down here and work my way around to the perimeter of the old dam over there. So I followed that fence line around the back. Came through that old gate there. Found the old, one of the old floor spikes, floor bolts from the old church over there. I've got a signal down in here. It was very deep and I've checked now into the pile that I've dug here and it's definitely something. We'll see what that is in that. Get the pinpointer out. I think that is that's a little silver coin that's got to be well wow, that's that's got that's a silver coin that's got to be that's got to be a little um threepence or a sixpence okay that's the first that's the first silver coin I've found in quite a while so right down the back here that was a very um difficult signal to detect and it's quite deep let's let's see what that is This, this is definitely a really old sixpence. This is a, it's a really old silver sixpence. You can see that starting to be revealed. That's a really old silver sixpence. So I, I'll have to identify the year on this, but. That looks like King Edward. That's definitely King Edward there. I've never found a King Edward silver sixpence before. This is this this has to be in the early 19, 1900s. Um, this would probably be between. Okay, I've just placed that in the sunlight. That is a really old King Edward the Seventh silver sixpence. So that would mean okay. That would mean that this coin would have to be between, uh, I think, by memory. 1902 to 1910 this silver sixpence so I've only ever found the uh, the Australian minted silver sixpences these this is prior to the Australian coin minting which it started in 1910 or 1911 I believe can't quite see the date of that one but it could possibly be a 1910 111 year old 112 year old silver coin it looks on looks like it could be a 1910 
King Edward the Seventh silver sixpence from down in there. So that was a. I nearly gave up on that. Lucky I didn't because that's the first silver coin I've got in quite a while up the back of the old church block here. That's an awesome find. I'm really happy with that. I'll continue, then go back out towards the dam. Okay, so we've weaved our way through the maze of metal here. I dug a little uh, metal plate there, but it's come over here. This is not too far away from where I got that that coin on the other side of the fence line back over there somewhere. This is here, over the other side. That seems to be a pretty short, sharp signal. That possibly could be... Possibly could be an old pre-decimal coin in there. Never know till you dig down into the earth. But it looks like it's about there. was a coin too, it is. I think that looks like another old penny. This looks like another old penny. Let's clean this up and see if we can get any any details to identify what kind of penny that this one is. Okay, I just clean. I just cleaned up one side so far and that is another King Edward the seventh so this is another very old very old penny between um, uh, between 1902 and 1911 uh, I'm pretty sure I should um, clarify that but it's very quite close to that era King Edward the seventh he came after Queen Victoria and be, before King George V who was King Edward the seventh so let's clean up the other side and see whether we can get an exact date so yeah here's the other side that is yes this is a King Edward the seventh it's actually before the Commonwealth of Australia coins came out this is a seeded Britannia I did some research on that and that's what the Britannia symbolizes the, the female representation of of the country of Great Britain. So 1910 this was um this was the same this is an English coin of course but the Australian minting process began in in 1910 um, also. Um yeah this is this is more of the, um, the older style coin, the Britannia. This side is in quite good condition. King Edward the Seventh, awesome. So I've got a Commonwealth of Australia penny, a silver sixpence, 1910, and here's also a 1910 Britannia penny. So this has been a good little treasure hunt today. I'm going to continue on. Haven't even worked my way over to the old dam yet. I'm heading in that direction now. Okay, there we had the 1910 King Edward the 7th penny. And over here, just progressed up here. Can't get much more of a stronger signal than that. That is a very, very strong 
signal. That seems again like a, a coin to me. That's nearly too strong of a signal. <laughs> That's one of the most strongest signals I've ever detected on that. Sometimes that can sometimes that can mean a good quality coin, but sometimes it can mean a chunk of thick metal. <laughs> Hopefully this one's a coin. That is, uh, I thought that was too strong of a signal, but that is it. That's the same, that's the same thing that I got. That's really heavy, big chunk of metal. I got one of them over also. That was the same item that I got over there. Not exactly sure what they are. Some kind of a plate that was nailed nailed into something obviously that's the second one so not not a coin this time there's got to be another one somewhere in through in through all this area or around the round towards the dam okay continue the search <laughs> okay so we're getting pretty serious with our exploring here now we found a little little spot in amongst these trees very old tree there and we do have something don't know what it is but there's something this could be anything but we'll we should have a look see what it is Okay, it might be a little bit, a little bit bigger than a coin by the look of that, but never know. We'll have to have a look in here. The end of a steel picket. That's what that is. But there could be a, a treasure chest in here. It's getting pretty wild territory, but no such luck. I'll just put that there. Okay, so we come back outside and worked our way down the fence here. And there seems to be a, a good signal here, right in here. That could possibly be a coin. right there I think we can see what that target is that looks like an old penny well well another very Another very old coin, this one. This one looks very old here. Let's um 
it's going to be hard to clean up and identify but we'll we'll have a look to see what it is yep here we have it here is another coin from this old property that's over 100 years old this is a 1921 Commonwealth of Australia one penny been sitting there for a very long time just in between the, the side fence line and the dam and that's quite crowded but that's obviously King George V 101 year old Commonwealth of Australia penny so we got a good signal here and dug up the earth and we have uncovered this is definitely a little silver threepence this could be up towards a hundred years old and 92.5 percent threepence we'll um clean that up and have a look exactly what that is okay this shows how sensitive those metal detectors are the mine lab equinox 800 this was a uh, very very deep and really clay soil and end up being good because the property owner came over just as I had um, located this with the detector and I started to dig a plug and he came over and he actually was able to watch me unveil this this little coin and this looks like one of the old English silver threepences it's been here for a long time that you can see the silver in there can't get any real detail off it going to have to clean this one up at home see whether we can reveal what that is but this could quite well be another 19th century old silver coin before prior to the um, minting in Australia because I did find that 1890 Queen Victoria silver threepence over there now I've come over here and that looks to be another one look forward to trying to clean that up and see whether we can get some good detail from there so after finding that silver threepence I've come up to the dam just going got about 20 or 30 minutes remaining till I have to get ready to teach the class tonight but going to go around the circumference of the dam here the property owner said that this dam has been here for a long long time and the kids back back probably in the 1940s and 1950s and 60s used to come up here and swim in the dam So we've found a few coins on this side of the um, of the old church block between the church block and the dam so it's worth having a bit of a look as beautiful time of the afternoon never know what you can just discover here at this these old sites got some friends coming over to visit <laughs> coming right over hello you having a drink are you this is your territory, isn't it? Just walked on by. Just let me know whose territory this is. <laughs> I'm sure they won't mind if I have a bit of a search around here. scared of those noisy cars and they are of me okay come around the other side of the dam now there is that's a very strong signal probably too strong to be a coin unless it's unless it's a florin right on the surface but so you can see something there travels right up
you can see the size of that object just below the surface there let's um let's uncover it whatever it is Yes, yeah. <laughs> solo. I don't know how, sol how long solo cans have been around for, but that's 10 cents at the recycle center. <laughs> I'll get that out of the earth anyway. Continue to search around here, come around the back, and then that'll be it. Well, there is a signal on the other side of this old log here. Not the strongest of signals, but... <laughs> Definitely something there though, so we'll, um, we'll give it a dig to see what, what it is. Okay, that is our lucky last target for the day. Not quite sure what that is, but it's certainly not an old predecimal coin. So yeah, we'll call that for the day. Oh, getting still getting visited by the by the local um, wildlife here. Hey guys! Oh, they're everywhere. Very inquisitive. Thanks for letting me have a look in your territory here, guys. I'll leave it to you. So yeah, I didn't really find any uh, old coins up around the perimeter of the dam, but we did get that silver threepence just over there. It looked like a 19th century. Pretty sure it's a 19th century silver threepence. And we found um, quite a few coins, old coins today. So that was definitely worth coming out here. So I'm going to head off, get ready to teach the karate kids up at the old hall up there. But, um, signing off for now. Here's just a quick review of the items we discovered on the um, treasure hunting adventure. Uh, we went out to the old church block but not really inside where we'd done the slashing. We went around the other side of the fence and around the back and in through the back gate and up towards the old dam and we found some um, interesting items with the, um, there's just floor bolts and a couple of brackets, old brackets, and not too sure what that is, but that was the, the last find there. But the coins are very, very awesome coins that we found this time. Um, the first one there we got on display, the 1933 Commonwealth of Australia one penny that's a that'd be a King George the the fifth we also found a 1921 that's over a hundred years old 1921 penny King George and we found a really awesome Britannia penny, 1910. 
really happy with that discovery this is a King Edward the seventh coin and we're lucky enough to find two silver coins as well this is I've never ever found a um, an old sixpence like that that's a 1910 silver sixpence that's also a King Edward the seventh they still got quite a bit of detail on it too and that's not bad condition that was a really good good discovery and the oldest coin was that final one when the property owner came over we uncovered that was in pretty bad condition to even to get the detail it took ages to try to get any detail from from that it had so much um, a layer of um, sediment built up on it but we have identified this one this is a Queen Victoria silver thrippence this before the Australian minting processes this was a United Kingdom coin Queen Victoria and they distinguish the um, you can tell the age it's very worn on the on the other side but usually just to the left and right of the um, three just beneath the crown you would have the date but when I had had a look at the research and you can tell from which Queen Victoria they have printed there and this one is what they classify as the the older head Queen Victoria which means it was from 1894 through till 1901 so this is very likely to be another 19th century silver coin so it was good enjoyed enjoyed that little treasure hunt I was only there for a few hours was able to discover those um, to add to the collection so until next time enjoy the journey and discovery on this amazing planet bye for now